Here we are, part four of four of this grouse series of videos that I've been working on. If you haven't seen the previous three yet, be sure to go check those out after this one. In those videos, I spent some time with the greater sage grouse, sharp tail grouse, and ruffed grouse. And in this week's video, I'm hoping to find and photograph the dusky grouse. Out of the four species of grouse that I've chosen to focus on in this little series of videos, the dusky grouse is by far the species that I've spent the least amount of time researching, observing, and photographing. So I'm really excited this week to be able to dedicate some more time to hopefully finding and photographing these guys. This goes hand in hand with what I'll be discussing in this week's video as well. How do I find the wildlife that I photograph? How do I know what areas to explore when looking for them? How do I choose specific locations? All of that information I'll be reviewing in this week's video. Just as a quick disclaimer though, my method of finding wildlife is not quick, easy, it's not some magic method of finding animals. So if that's what you're looking for, this isn't going to be your video. Uh, the method that I use to find animals can be very time consuming and honestly it's a lot of work. So again, if you're just looking for some quick, easy method of finding an animal, this isn't going to be your video. And also, this is the method that I use to find a lot of the animals that I photograph. It's something that I really enjoy. It may not be something that you enjoy. It may not be a method that you even want to try, and that's okay. Uh, this is just how I find a lot of the animals that I uh, photograph in my, in my wildlife photography. So come along this week as I hopefully Fingers crossed, find and photograph some dusky grouse. Really looking forward to this video. On that note, let's go try to find some. So I'm out hiking, exploring this uh, area. This is a new area to me. I've never been out here exploring or looking for dusky grouse before. So you might ask, how did I choose this area to explore, to look for these birds? So anytime you're looking for any animal, you need to understand a few things about them. And there's some questions you need to answer. Uh, at least this is the process I go through. So I try to understand their basic needs, uh, habits, etc. So what do they like to eat? What type of habitat or terrain do they prefer? What are their habits during different times of the year? What do their scat and their tracks look like? And what sounds do they make? These are just some basic things that I try to understand anytime I go out searching for a new species that I haven't found before or one that I'm not very familiar with or anytime I'm just exploring a new area. So in order to answer these questions, uh, I do research first, obviously. So this is a book, it's just an Audubon Birds book uh, that I have had since I was just a kid. And you know, I turn to this book and my other nature books, I've got a, the majority of my books are nature books. so. Uh, I, I just turn to books anytime I'm trying to learn about a species or, you know, there's a lot of great sources online. You can talk to people, researchers, scientists, people with experience finding certain animals. Uh, ultimately what I'm trying to get at is just go out there and educate yourself. Learn about the animal because in order to find it you need to know or be able to guess where it's going to be and why and what it'll be doing. So once I've learned about the animal, once I've done my research, I turn, I turn to my maps. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of maps that I use regularly, and uh, I try to identify places on those maps, maybe areas I've visited before where I think is ideal habitat for that animal. So this area, for instance, like I mentioned before, I've never explored this specific area, but uh, I know the general area pretty well, so I opened up my map 
and I thought this area that I'm exploring would be ideal grouse habitat. Uh, this is the terrain that they prefer this time of year. It's got a plentiful food source for them. And as I was hiking up the trail, I noticed some of the grouse's scat. Granted, it was fairly old, but I know that there's some in the area. So this is the process that I go through anytime I'm looking for an animal. Now, this backcountry wildlife is different than, you know, say wildlife at a national park or, you know, wildlife that you can find easily from a road, something like that. I do my fair share of that type of wildlife, nothing against it. But uh, backcountry wildlife is what I prefer to look for. And so this is my method for finding these animals. It, just because it works for me doesn't mean it, it'll work for you. But uh, it, this is, yeah, this is my method. It can be very time consuming, but me being one who just loves getting out into nature anyways, uh, this is how I prefer to look for animals and explore new areas. And a lot of times when I'm looking for one animal, I find three others and uh, then I know that that area is good for different species as well. So uh, it, it's just a good way to, to find animals and a lot of times I don't find anything. But uh, like I mentioned before, I found that grouse scat earlier. So even if I don't see grouse out here today, I know there's some in the area because I saw their scat. So uh, it's just a good way to get out into nature and uh, it's the method that I that I use to, to find the animals that I photograph. So I'm gonna keep exploring. I've still got a few hours left today. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can find some birds here. I'd love to photograph some tonight. This area really does seem, seem good for these guys. So let's keep going. All right, so I was actually able to find a dusky grouse. Uh, it's a male, he's in this pine tree behind me. He's just feeding and resting right now. Uh, these guys are usually pretty tolerant, but that being said, I'm still going to keep my distance and just watch to see what he does. Uh, it's getting a little bit later in the day, so I'm hoping he'll come down and start feeding and uh, maybe displaying here soon. Fingers crossed. down out of the tree now and he's actually approaching me. Um, the males, they make this very, very low pitch hooting noise and they do this to attract the females and uh, warn other rival males in the area. Um, they'll also show their colorful neck patches and uh, their colorful combs over their eyes and they'll fan out their tail feathers a little bit. It's a beautiful display. Uh, that hooting noise though, it's so low pitch, it's gonna be hard for me to get, especially with this wind and the stream that we're by. So I hope that I can get it for you so you can hear it, because it's, it's a beautiful display. Um, I'll get some pictures if I can, if he starts doing it for me. But uh, I'd really like to get some video and audio for you to be able to hear it.
Good morning. What a fantastic morning I have just had. Uh, I'm in another new area, one that I haven't explored or looked for dusky grouse in before. And I was actually able to find three this morning. Uh, the first two that I found, they were quite a ways off and they moved off a little bit further and I didn't want to pursue them or bother them. But the third one that I found, uh, he actually approached me, he was quite a distance away, and he approached and got fairly close and I was able to get some, some pictures and video of him. So I just had a blast with him. Um, I'll be honest, I'm very, I feel very lucky that I was able to find these grouse for this video. You know, I wanted to demonstrate to you how I find the wildlife and the locations that I photograph in. And I'm, I just feel very fortunate that I was able to actually find the birds uh, for demonstration purposes. The reason I say that is, you know, I come out with these weekly videos showing you the awesome animals that I get to spend time with. But for a lot of the species that I photograph, there's days, weeks, months, or even longer of scouting and exploring that goes into finding those animals. So, you know, just so you know, again, I come out with these weekly videos, but there are so many hikes and backpacking trips and excursions that I go on where I don't find the animals that I'm looking for. And, um, you know, for demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm glad that it worked out. And even on those trips when I don't see anything, I still love every minute of it. That's the thing. I love being outside and there's so much you can learn about a uh, landscape and the animals that may live there or are probably in the area by looking at books, maps, reading the terrain. There's just so much you can learn about animal life in an area without ever seeing an animal. So uh, I, I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed these grouse videos that I've come out with. It's been very fun to put these together. It's just been awesome to spend time with these four different species of grouse, be able to get some pictures and video of them, uh, show you the different displays that they do, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed. 
Uh, I've also had such a blast just covering such a variety of terrain. Uh, I love getting out and exploring and it's just been fun to visit such a variety of uh, landscapes and terrain while making these videos as well. I hope you've learned something along the way also, uh, specifically the importance of observing and photographing these guys in an ethical manner, uh, especially this time of year. It's just a very sensitive time of year for them, so please if you go out to photograph or observe these birds, please do so respectfully as uh, they need their space and um, we just need to respect them while we're out with them. So. Uh, I hope I've been able to show you how to do that and still get an awesome picture, uh, you know, in the process. But as always, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And uh, I'll come out with another video next week. Not another grouse video, but uh, I'll, I've got some other animals that I've been spend, spending some time with. So I'll be back out with another video next week. And on that note, have a great week and we'll see you then.